Now we're going to look at the dashboard enhancements for the new gauges. So again, I'm going to create a new dashboard section. I'm going to go into my BQI, create a new dashboard, and you can see down in my element section on the left that I have a new folder called gauges. When I expand this, you can see the different four gauges that we have here, the bullet, the speedometer, the thermometer, and the traffic light. So if I want to, I can go out and pull one of these and just drag it onto my canvas. So I'll take the speedometer and I'll drag it right up here. As I mentioned, you can see I'm not actually seeing the data or anything. All it's giving me is a visual cue of what's there. This is just a placeholder. When I click on this to select it, you'll see down at the bottom the outliner becomes available and it shows me what values it needs. So I need a value and a target value. So I'm going to go up to my results, and I'm going to grab my revenue actual as my value and my revenue plan as my target. Again, placeholder is just showing there. Until I exit design mode, you won't actually see it render with any of the data. So now if I exit design mode, you'll see that the speedometer will become active. So there is my speedometer with my actual and my target values on it. If I go back in here and take a look at this, I can look at my properties. And you can see, if I go to my speedometer tab here, I have some other things that I can do. I have different themes, some different subtypes, and if I want to, I can add in some color ranges. So here, I'm going to say for my minimum, I'm going to make it zero. My max, I'll put in some large number. I can choose what color I want it to be. So I'm going to say if it's that low, it's going to be red, and I can give it a tool tip if I want to. And I can keep adding these in as many as I want. So maybe I'll make this one yellow, give it a tool tip. And again, this one, anything bigger than that, we'll just make green and call it gray. Okay, now when I go back and take a look at this, you'll see it looks much different, but I've actually added the color coding there. So I, all of the different gauges that are available, when you drag them in, basically you have to drag them over to your canvas, click on them to select them, and then you'll see the values that it needs down at the bottom. When you click on any of the properties, you'll also see that there's a tab at the end for that specific gauge, which will allow you to set the, the different um, options that each gauge has. So here, the other thing that I can do now is to make this dynamic. So if I want to, I can go under my controls, and I can choose my slider control, which, again, is new. So I can pull this down. I can size it how I would like to. And again, once it's selected, you can see down at the bottom what it wants, and it wants a dimension. So I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to make my slider control the region. So I will drag region down to the dimension result, and again, I'm going to get out of design mode, and you can see now that my slider has the different regions that are available from my data. Right now, I can move it. It doesn't do anything because I haven't associated it with anything. If I go back in and look at the properties for this slider, you can see I have a tab called Association, and it will show me everything on this dashboard that it can handle. So here it's showing me there's a speedometer. If I select that to be associated, I can say OK, and now I've hooked these two together. So when I bring this up to, say, Asia, you can see that the dials are moving. Bring it up to Europe, and all the data, again, to the left moves. So now I have a dynamic speedometer without any coding whatsoever. 